What up, friends? It do be like that sometimes, and today we're going to be reviewing BB's newest EP, Life is a Bitch. BB is a singer-songwriter from South Korea who debuted back in 2017 with her SoundCloud stuff, actually. Uh, she started off kind of small, but has been quickly growing and growing into a pretty respectable artist these days. This is her second mini-album overall, and she's just as honest and solidly melancholic as ever, albeit with some sort of limitations that come with her skeletal instrumentals. A cool and ethereal beat kicks off this little project with Um Life. The simplistic bass does establish a groove, however the focus of this track is on BB's vocals and establishing a sense of isolation, which is definitely prevalent on the rest of the EP as well. The main verse definitely has drive after the beat starts really developing, however it's a beat that really matches the introspective lyrics about how life is just kind of beating her down. Bad, Sad, and Mad continues the themes that were present on the last track, however the beat gets a bit more braggadocious now. It actually opts for a more traditional trap rap formula. The pulsing bass is a darkly humorous contrast to BB rapping about how she's getting addicted to material desires and people just kind of abusing her. However, despite this abuse comes the realization that she's also been finding people that she actually connects with and actually cares for her. I think the melancholic synth section near the end of the EP kind of highlights this fact. Peary the Dog is probably the only track that I'm not that into on the EP as a whole. The instrumental is noticeably more generic than the rest of the EP uh, with that sort of trap R&B infused sound. However, it also lacks the dark atmosphere that I think made a lot of the other tracks on this project interesting. Generic 808s and a pretty repetitive sample also don't really do the beat any favors. It largely discusses similar topics to the last track, making it kind of repetitive from a lyrical standpoint as well. The vocals, in addition, aren't very active and probably don't express the themes and feels of the track as well as they could have. Birthday Cake, however, is a great and somber crooner of a song. The idea of either BB's upbringing or culture making her think that she shouldn't even be able to have a birthday cake to herself is a really well fleshed out narrative and the homely liquid style beat is a pretty good backdrop for this. BB's vocals sound great conveying the somberness of the situation quite well and her vocals in general have very nostalgic yet upsetting feeling to them on this track. That string section that comes in near the end adds a sense of beauty to the song overall, perhaps symbolizing her newfound freedom and how she can finally do things how she wants. The title track, Life is a Biz, is a solid conclusion to this little short EP. It combines all of the sounds that we've experienced prior into a sort of delicate amalgamation of sorts. Her flows are more rap oriented this time, yet just as smooth, and the music box elements that are placed over the beats, uh, they fit these sort of downcast vibes pretty nicely. I also really like the idea of BB trying to avoid being seduced by all the aftermaths of heartbreak and managing to come out on top. The strings come in yet again, however they sound a bit more hopeful this time, maybe showing how she's progressed developed and matured and hopefully how she's on the up and up. And that's it. It's a pretty short EP. It's also pretty simplistic as well, but you know, I think it kind of has its own identity because of that. It's a pretty solid summary of BB Sound, yet as much as I liked a lot of the tracks on here, I think it also shows the, s the limitations of her sound too. The instrumentals definitely do have a vibe to them and they do fit her narratives pretty nicely. However, I think the skeletal nature of the instrumentals prevent the tracks from feeling more fleshed out. Adding more organic elements, similar to how maybe like Cold or Car the Garden do, I think it can really take her sound to the next level. Or if she wants to focus on a more hip hop angle, uh, using dark and experimental beats kind of like how Guangyil Zhou does could achieve the same effect but with a different style. However, I think she does have a really great voice and she does a pretty good job in establishing a narrative and a feeling and I think it's only a matter of time before she produces a full length project that is just really great. I'm feeling a decent six on this EP. Pretty short, pretty sweet, but I think I like where her direction is going.
Of course, we do have to talk about the album cover on this show, and it's a fine album cover. I think it does uh, tackle the themes of the EP pretty nicely. Um, some design elements, I think, could have been done a little bit better. The very close-up shot of her face, while it does bring attention to the more battered and bruised nature of life beating her down, I feel like it doesn't have the aesthetic that she might want to match the instrumentals. I would have preferred it to be a little more grayscale, a little darker, maybe zoom out a little bit uh, to try to get a pose going. But it's, it's not bad overall. I just feel like it could have been a little bit better. Of course, those are my thoughts on this new BBEP. What do you guys think? Is she heading in the right direction? Or do you wish that she would maybe go for a more full and lush sound to match her deeper and introspective narratives? Let me know. And until the next one, farewell.